Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Elon Musk podcast. This is a show where we discuss the critical crossroads that shape SpaceX, Tesla, X, The Boring Company, and Neuralink. I'm your host, Will Walden. Tesla's major competitor, Ford Motor Company, is urging its dealers to halt their investments in the EV certification program amid upcoming changes to the program. Now, this request comes as the company plans to introduce updates to its EV strategy, responding to the evolving market dynamics that are going on right now. Now, the CEO of Ford, Jim Farley, announced in December of 2022 that 1,920 dealers would join Ford's EV sales program. However, since then, several dealers have opted out, leading Ford to revise its EV strategy. Marty Gunsberg, a Ford spokesperson, confirmed that as of December, dealer enrollment for 2023 has dropped to just about 50% for about two-thirds a year prior. This decline is attributed to changes in the market, prompting Ford to ease some program requirements. Now, last year, Ford reduced the number of required Level 2 chargers and extended the installation timeline. Andrew Frick, who's the president of Ford Blue, indicated that further changes are forthcoming. Frick said, there's a lot that we'll be reviewing. Now, Ford plans to meet with its dealer council next month to finalize updates, taking into account feedback from nationwide meetings with dealers. Now, Ford has asked dealers to pause their investments in the EV certification program until mid-June. The company aims to provide more informed guidance based on the forthcoming console discussions. Frick said, we don't want them to make any decisions between now and the middle of June, emphasizing the need for dealers to wait for more detailed information before proceeding with their investments. Now, one significant concern among dealers is the shifting EV market. Ford has delayed some of its EV plans and is focusing on smaller, more profitable EV models aiming to better align its dealer network with these new objectives. And while Frick did not disclose specifics, he noted that both the dealer console and executives are aligned on the process based on feedback from the dealer meetings. Recently, Ford has sought cost-cutting ideas from suppliers to make its EVs more affordable. The Model E unit posted a $1.3 billion loss in quarter one, and a $4.7 billion loss last year. Now, Ford anticipates a $5.5 billion loss in its EV business this year. Farley emphasized that Model E must stand on its own. Ford projects that its next-generation EVs will become profitable within a year of their launch. Meanwhile, the company is introducing more hybrids to bridge the gap. Now, the request for dealers to pause EV investments follows a comprehensive review of feedback for over 1,000 dealers across 11 meetings during a recent dealer engagement tour. They said, we're now in the process of reviewing all that collaborative engagement and turning it into intermediate, midterm, and long-term changes where it makes sense for our customers, our dealers, and Ford. Specific details will be shared in the coming weeks. Changes to the EV certification program last November reduced the requirement for L2 chargers from 5 to 2 for certified status and from 5 to 3 for certified elite status. The need for a level 3 fast charger by 2026 was also removed. Now, Ford's Model E business unit has faced financial challenges, leading to a delay in $12 billion worth of EV-related spending due to slower-than-expected EV sales growth, impacted by affordable issues and insufficient charging structure. Now, as of December 2022, two-thirds of dealers had signed up for the EV charging program. Currently, about half of Ford's dealer network is enrolled. The program has faced legal challenges with varying results. Now, Ford's dealer console meeting next month will address the feedback received from the recent dealer tour aiming to refine the EV certification program and possibly other business areas. They said, Our plans are really aimed at simplifying and reducing complexity. The company will review everything from floor plan assistance to Model E standards and Ford credit policies. 
and the EV certification program has been controversial due to the significant investments required for dealers. Despite multiple revisions, Ford has seen a substantial drop in dealer participation. Ford continues to develop future EV models and aims for increased affordability, including a rumored next generation electric pickup. Now the company remains committed to adopting its strategy to changing market conditions. What was great is that we had candid conversations around every aspect of the business. Nothing was off limits, said Frick. It's collaborative nature of the recent dealer meetings. Hey, thank you so much for listening today. I really do appreciate your support. If you could take a second and hit this subscribe or the follow button on whatever podcast platform that you're listening on right now, I greatly appreciate it. It helps out the show tremendously and you'll never miss an episode. And each episode is about 10 minutes or less to get you caught up quickly. And please, if you want to support the show even more, go to patreon.com slash stage zero. And please take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you tomorrow.